Hello well, and welcome everyone to Miscellaneous Friday where I'll um, explore different functions and I'll also show you a short demo or maybe a fun uh, power app where I'll show you the things that I have created and maybe you can also do the same things and most importantly I'll make sure that these are very simple and quite easy for every beginner to follow. So what you can see on the screen is a simple power app quiz which uh, you can play and uh, or you can also make and the functions that I have used here are only two easy functions that is navigate and set and I have used a simple if condition. So let's see how this works and I have also used um, an input that is the timer input and I'll show you how it works in the back end. So let's get started and see the demo. So Power Dash is a part of the Power Platform. Okay, I it just moved in and I did not get any score because it gives us a time limit of 3 seconds. Okay, so let's try this again and maybe a bit quicker this time. So we'll have to be quite quick in deciding our answers. And after 3 seconds, our answer is chosen and we get uh, moved to the next screen and we can see that I have a total score of 100. So how did I do all of this? Let me uh, make you understand one by one. So in this screen, what I have is a label. Uh, you can also choose a text input and uh, here what I have chosen, uh, what I have uh, chosen as a question is Power Apps is a part of the Power Platform and what you have to do is uh, is it true or is it false? This one, if it is true, then it returns uh huh, and if this is false, it uh, it returns are you sure? So how did I enter uh huh and are you sure? So uh, and from this input, I have chosen this toggle button. So let me just uh, show you what I have done. So yeah, so this was the toggle button that I had uh, chosen, and from the toggle button, we can see that there are so many properties so how did i write uh huh and are you sure so if we scroll up we see that there is a false text if um, a toggle is moved towards false it shows by default it shows off if you want uh, you can uh, maybe write yes or suppose maybe you can write no and uh, similarly there is also a true text And similarly, there is a true text as well where you can. Okay, sorry. I. True text where you can write yes. So, yeah, this is uh, basically everything I did here. Here in uh, my false text, if I show you. In my false text, I had written you sure. And for my. Where is my true text? Okay. For my two text, I have written uh-huh. So this is how you can change it. And the main thing is when I am selecting this toggle, that time I have given an if condition and this is where my marks have been uh, used and this is where I have uh, used the set function. So let's see how this, uh, what I have written there. So let me go to on select. Okay, so how did I write all of these? So uh, let me just show you the sim same thing here. So when I go to on select, since this is my second toggle, so I need an if condition. So I write if and what do I need to check? That is my toggle to dot value that is if my toggle to's value if my toggle to's value is equals to true then what do i want i want it to set my score this score here it acts as a variable okay since i've already used this score i won't uh, use this again so maybe i can use it at scr set my scr as what 25 okay if this is not true then set it set my scr to zero this is how you saw that my first uh, thing had worked okay that if my and uh, like okay so here 
that is if my first um, since i my timer had passed and i did not have uh, the uh, and like i couldn't choose a particular option so you could see that i had uh, got zero so if i had uh, similarly it was same thing would have happened if i had chosen the wrong answer so this is how this works and uh, as you can see that uh, i have chosen uh, 50 as my score that you can also uh, choose a 25 or any marks that you want to give so this is how this entire thing works so this is how the set thing works we are setting the variable score to a particular number and i also have a timer here the timer here you cannot see because i have chosen the visibility to off when i switch it on what you can see is there is this duration this duration is in milliseconds so uh, basically if uh, when this is 3 seconds so it gives us 3 seconds time to think of the answer so 3 seconds is uh, quite low so let me uh, redirect this to 5 seconds and if you cannot select the answer within 5 seconds it navigates to the second screen which is my screen one comma uh, that is one underscore one so this is a simple thing that we have used here and the next is i have uh, again uh, used a label where i have given this uh, particular question and for this i have used uh, from input i have used radio and in radio how do they write the radio okay uh, let me show this to you again so uh, it becomes quite easy and handy for you suppose in radio you want to enter more than one value so how do you do that you enter that within square braces suppose the first is rat the second is cat maybe so yeah rat cat and uh, this is how you enter the uh, various uh, answers or maybe the options that you want to have in your option list so this is how we have done it and uh, now how did i make sure that the answer is canvas so from here we have this option which is called as radio selection fill and i have chosen the color as blue and when i did that i chose this particular option which is the canvas app option and once it was done i moved back to my on select and on on select i had given this if condition that if the selected radio button has an answer a canvas app then you add my score to 50 here i did not uh, give that uh, set my score to zero because uh, like it will simply carry the marks of my first uh, um, answer that is if i scored 25 or 50 or whatever we um, enter here and then it carries the next marks as my total marks so this is why here i did not uh, choose the score uh, set score to zero which i did in my first uh, question so this is how i have um, used two simple functions that is navigate and uh, um, that is set to make us very simple quiz and here again you cannot see the timer because it is off so let me make it visible and again change it to five seconds so if i can choose my answer within five seconds then it will lead me to the last screen which shows my total score that is in my first answer i had uh, that is my first trial or my second trial i had scored a total score of 100 so this is how we can make uh, our a very interesting quiz and uh, since i am very poor in designing so maybe you can come up with great designing ideas and create better designs so this is how the entire thing works so let us see the demo again you sure this is the wrong answer and now on the fifth second it navigates and now you'll see that i have scored a score of total score of zero because here i chose two wrong answers okay now you may ask that how did i do the last part that is total score so here i just used a simple ampersand or in you can say the and sign here um, this was the text that i want my text label to show and i have attached the score since this was the variable that i was using for my Set, set function so this is how i have uh, done it easily and i hope uh, it helps you thank you and bye bye